Yes, that was perfect. Well, you think so? perfect. It's really sweet. It's done. Especially the right like, what the hell is he doing there? Super classic, man. Be the man. Contrary to popular belief, I'm a huge boxing fan. Always have been, and always will be. If it wasn't for the sport of boxing, I would not be here today. And one of the many fighters that I loved in the heyday, Vinny Pazienza, the Pasmanian Devil. He turned pro in 1983 and fought for over two decades. This guy fought for 21 years. His final fight was in 2004. He won his 50th career victory. At 60 fights, 50 wins, 30 by knockout. He won five world titles, the IBF World Lightweight Championship when he beat Greg Haugen, the WBA Junior Middleweight Championship, he beat uh, Gilbert Delay, the IBO, the IBO World Middleweight Championship when he beat Dan Sherry, IBC Super Middleweight Championship when he beat Duran for the vacant title, and the WBU Super Middleweight Championship, he beat Dana Rosenblatt for the vacant title. Now many of you have heard this story of Vinny Pazienza. He was at the peak of his career in 1992. He just won a world title. He was on a ride with one of his friends and they were in a horrible car accident. Hmm? And Vinny Pazienza oh, broke his it. neck. Yeah, yeah. I was the doctor right. told him great, that he probably wouldn't walk again and he absolutely like, positively would never fight again. That was the best part for him. And at this time, in 1992, I was 23 years old. And USA's Tuesday Night Fights was massive. On Tuesday night, I don't care what was going on, I was home watching Tuesday Night Fights. And Vinny Pazienza was the king of USA Tuesday Night Fights in the early 90s. And any of you that saw the story of him, where he broke his neck, he's, he literally leaves the hospital with these metal holes attached to his shoulder and a halo screwed into his skull, okay? Sneaks down into his father's basement and starts training again without telling anybody. Lifting weights, shadow boxing, remarkable stuff, right? Well, they did this piece on USA's Tuesday Night Fights about it, and it was phenomenal. It's one of the most inspirational things I've ever seen in my life. I had it on VH, VHS tape, and I watched it all the time. And a lot of what happened with these boxers early, uh, you know, early on in my life, these things that I watched, I, I've said it many times, there were a lot of things that I loved about boxing and a lot of things that I didn't. And I implemented those things into the UFC. Well, Anthony Giordano was the guy that shot the, the Vinny Pazienza um, piece on USA Tuesday Night Fights, and I hired him at the UFC. And I said, these are the kind of stories that we want to tell. But the reality is, is that Paz was an absolute warrior. And he's the type of fighter that people love to watch. He had heart, style, showmanship, power, and he was the type of fighter that made you love the sport of boxing. He was uh, only the second fighter in boxing history to win world titles both at lightweight and junior middleweight. And in my opinion, Vinny Pazienza is the greatest comeback story in the history of sports. And ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to induct the Tasmanian Devil, Vinny Pazienza, into the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame.